Od boxu! Stav! There is a small but mighty horse waiting to take you on the ride of a lifetime. There are different kinds of horses in the world, some of which you're already familiar with if you're a horse lover. However, there are also some extremely rare horse breeds that I doubt you've ever heard of before, some of which are on the verge of extinction. Join us as we have a look at 20 horses that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 20. The Soraya Horse The Soraya Horse is a breed of ancient horses that are native to Portugal's Iberian Peninsula. It's an extremely rare breed and is one of the few types of original wild horses that are still in existence. This horse was almost presumed extinct until 1920 when a Portuguese zoologist would encounter one during a hunting trip in the Portuguese lowlands. He would later establish a wild herd on his own property with just seven mares and four stallions. The ancientness of the breed is explained by primitive markings, which includes a black dorsal stripe, black-tipped ears, horizontal striping on the legs, and a dark muzzle profile, as well as having a convex profile and grula coloring. This horse breed is small in size and could be described as the primary ancestor of the famous horses of Andalusia and Lusitania, both of which were ancestors of many horses throughout Europe and the Americas. To help their population to grow, this horse has been categorized as a breed by the Portuguese National Stud. Today, you can find them majorly in both Portugal and Germany. Number 19. The Shire Horse The Shire Horse is a breed of a magnificent and rare horse that's popular for its height and strength. In fact, it holds records for being the largest and tallest horse in the world. This British-bred drought horse appears similar to a Clydesdale and is usually black, bay, or gray in color. This horse breed has large hooves and feathering on its legs, making it possess an excellent capacity for weight pulling, carting, and transportation. In spite of the imposing size of this horse, they are typically calm and docile. If you're a horse lover, this particular breed can be very good for you, irrespective of your experience level. This is as long as you're not intimidated by its size. One of the most famous Shire horses was the majestic Goliath, a beautiful black horse, and before his death in 2001, he measured more than 19 and a half hands high, making him the tallest horse in Great Britain at the time. Even the Guinness Book of World Records recognized him in the year 2000 as being the tallest living horse in the world. Number 18. Suffolk Punch Originating in Suffolk, England, where it gets its name, the Suffolk Punch is a horse breed that dates back to the 16th century. This horse breed has its lineage traceable to Crisp's horse, a stallion fold in 1768. Initially, local farmers bred the Suffolk Punch for farm work, and despite its short and stocky build, as well as its calm temperament, you would never expect that the Suffolk Punch could be such a hard worker. However, following the increasing use of machinery in agriculture, coupled with the devastating effects of World War II, there would be a decline in the population of this horse breed. There are now fewer than 300 breeding mares of the Suffolk Punch breed in the world. When compared to its other horse counterparts, the Suffolk Punch has a solid build with short stature and also lacks leg feathering, which makes it easier for it to work in heavy soil. Suffolk Punch horses have chestnut-colored skin, and they usually appear in shades of chestnut that range from bright to dark liver and lemon. Number 17. The Akal Teki Horse The Akal Teki Horse is considered the jewel of Turkmenistan. Looking at its spectacular coat and slender morphology, you may well agree that it is the most beautiful equine breed in existence. It's little wonder that it's a breed of choice for soldiers and kings from Kazakhstan to China. History even has it that Alexander the Great once rode a predecessor of this horse into battle. This horse breed is known to have extremely good movement and racing qualities. It's also worthwhile to note that it is a great jumper and has a high level of endurance. The breed always came in first in 500km endurance races that were held in Russia. Today, the horse is bred mainly for dressage and jumping. Many people consider them to be mystical horses owing to their striking appearance. They're one of the oldest breeds in the world, having been bred by the Teki tribe in the Akal oasis of Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan for many centuries. 
In terms of their appearance, they're also known as the celestial horse. They have a light and fleshy head with large expressive eyes and fine long ears that are set up high. In addition to that, they also feature a tail and mane that are sparsely furred. They're known for their keen obedience to their rider and make a great horse for anyone. Number 16. The Canadian Horse The history of the Canadian horse can be traced well back to 1665 when King Louis XIV sent a shipload of horses to Canada. It came to be as the result of crossbreeding a variety of other horse breeds, such as the Belgian, the Percheron, the Breton, and the Dales. The dwindling numbers of this horse breed made the Canadian government name it a nation's national horse in 2002. Canadian horses are known to be tough, possessing extra hard hooves and grew long and thick coats in the winter so that they could survive the outdoors. Like many heritage breeds, they do not get sick very often, so if you want to breed one, you're going to save very big on veterinary bills. They're also physically strong and can pull unusually large loads, a feature that makes them ideal for hauling logs or large wagons loaded with grain and people. In general, they're a calm and relaxed horse and do not get spooked easily. Most of these Canadian horse breeds have dark colors like black, brown, and bay, and above all, they're beautiful. We're quite sure that other horse breeds envy their long and wavy manes along with their glossy dark coats. Number 15. The Dales Pony The Dales Pony is one of the mountain and moorland pony breeds that are native to the United Kingdom. It's known for its strength, hardiness, and stamina, along with its courage, intelligence, and having a great disposition. It has an origin that is deeply rooted in the history of lead mining in the Dales area of England, from the Derbyshire peaks to the Scottish borders. Its close cousin, the Fell Pony, was also used on the western slopes. The Dales Pony descended from a number of other horse breeds. They're renowned for their high-quality, hard, and well-shaped feet and legs, and they're majorly black-colored with some brown, bay, gray, and rarely roan. They combine their tremendous stamina with a calm temperament. During the World Wars, the Dales Pony was drafted into the British military as a transporter of armaments, but unfortunately, many of the Dales were killed in the wars, and most of those that survived would be abandoned on the European mainland. Three fell pony stallions were used in the 1960s to help bring the breed back into its existence. However, by 1971, the breed was again brought back from the brink of extinction. And in 1991, 12 pony species were imported to Canada to improve the horse breed population there. Number 14. Newfoundland Pony The Newfoundland Pony is a heritage breed that's developed in Newfoundland and Labrador from breeds such as Exmoor, Dartmoor, New Forest, and other ponies. These ponies, for nearly three centuries, were interbred until a common pony developed, the Newfoundland, which developed its own unique characteristics through natural selection and adaptation. Newfoundland ponies have thick and dark manes and tails, along with lower legs, as well as short hairy ears and small flint hard hooves. Now, they're commonly brownish in color, though there are other colors that also exist and they can weigh from 400 to 800 pounds. Their height can range anywhere between 11 to 14.2 hands, and so they can be ridden by both children and adults. The ponies are loyal and hardworking, and were used in the past for hauling firewood, timber, kelp, rocks, and a whole lot of other things. They also transported their owners by back, cart, and wagon. In 1935, there was a healthy population of these ponies, with over 9,000 of them in existence, that was up until the mid-1970s. Following the shift to the use of machinery and the sale of thousands of ponies to meat processing plants in Canada, their population would be on the rapid decline, such that in 1997, there were only 144 known Newfoundland ponies in existence. Some were dispersed, slaughtered, and then ignored. Number 13. The American Cream Horse The American Cream Horse, as its name would imply, is an American breed of draft horse. It would be developed in Iowa during the 20th century from a cream-colored mare named Old Granny, which appeared on a farm sale in Story County, Iowa in 1911. This breed is characterized by the cream or gold champagne color of its coat. The beauty of Old Granny's foal attracted Eric Christian, a veterinarian, that she persuaded Nelson Brothers of Jewel, Iowa to keep a colt named Nelson's Buck for a stallion. The stallion would later sire several cream-colored foals with white manes and tails, pink skin, and amber-colored eyes. 
During the 1930s, cream draft horses could be found in the counties that surrounded Melbourne. It wasn't long before the American cream breed was becoming established that the market for draft horses collapsed following the mechanization of agriculture. The breeding of draft animals almost ceased at that point, and only a few people held on to their creams. It was these few that would survive as the foundation for the breed survival. The sizes of American creams range from medium to large, averaging 15 to 16.3 hands at the withers. Mares and stallions can average between 1,600 to 1,800 pounds, and from 1,800 to 2,000 pounds, respectively. Number 12. The Hackney Horse The Hackney Horse was specially bred for carriage driving. It would be developed in the 18th century by crossing thoroughbreds with the Norfolk Trotter, a large-sized trotting harness horse that originated in and around Norfolk. At the time, the King of England needed powerful and attractive horses with an excellent trot to be used as general-purpose riding horses. Hackneys are characterized by their heavy muscles, wide chests, deep bodies, and arched necks. They average 14.2 to 15.2 hands high and weigh about 1,000 pounds. The first hackney would be taken to the United States in 1822, and ever since, the breed has been exported to Australia and the Netherlands. The head of the hackney is well-shaped and sometimes with a slightly convex nose. Its eyes and ears are always alert, the neck is crested and muscular, and the chest is broad and well-defined. In April of 2022, the Rare Breed Survival Trust would declare that only 31 breeding females and 12 males were left in the UK, which put the breed in risk of extinction. Number 11. Bashkir Curly Horse Bashkir Curly Horses are also known as Bashkir Curlies, American Bashkir Curlies, and North American Curly Horses. They're known for being exceptionally hardy and having a calm and gentle disposition, and although the exact origin of this horse is unknown, they are suspected to be from the Tajikistan region, following a similarity in their characteristic curly coat. Several other theories propose the possible origin of the horse breed, but none of them have succeeded in doing so. However, the modern-day Bashkir has their history traceable to 1898, when young Peter DeMille and his father came across three horses with tight curly ringlets all over their entire bodies while riding Peter Hansen mountain range in the remote high country of central Nevada near Austin, Texas. Many of the Bashkir curlies in the United States can be traced back to their herd. From a physical standpoint, these curlies are of medium size. They're characterized by wide eyes, which give them a wider range of vision, black hoofs, and straight legs. They have demonstrated excellent performance in a wide range of equestrian events, which includes barrel racing, pole bending, and western riding, among others. They've also excelled as trail and pack horses, and in endurance and competitive trail riding. Number 10. Marwari The Marwari, also known as the Milani, is a rare breed of horse that comes from India. The Marwari horses are considered a royal horse, having demonstrated their skills as war horses on historic battlefields for centuries. They were created to urgently act as a hardy mount to the royals and the soldiers. Marwaris, which were bred since the 12th century, are famous for their beautiful features and ambling gaits. They are also known to trot with great style and a good lightness. Genetically, they do share some similarities with another breed that hails from the same region, but as wars gradually dwindled, the need for these horses as cavalry mounts also declined. This drastic decline in the demand for the horse breed would lead to a reduction in their population. Apart from acting as war mounts, the breed also served as a means of transportation for the people of the region, especially in 1193, when the clan lost their kingdom and had to take refuge in the remote areas of the region of Thar in the Great Indian Deserts. Number 9. Gypsy Vanner Gypsy Vanner, also known as the Gypsy Cob, the traditional Gypsy Cob, the Irish Cob, and the Gypsy Horse or the Tinker Horse, was selectively bred for over half a century to serve as the perfect horse to pull the caravans and living spaces of gypsies. The Gypsy Vanner is often referred to as people-sized draft horse, and it has genetic origins from breeds that include the Shire, the Clydesdale, and the native British ponies such as the Dale. The Gypsy Vanner comes in a variety of colors such as Solid, Tabiano, and Splash. A majority of the breed stands 14 to 15 hands tall at the withers. The first characteristic you're going to notice about this breed is their decorative feature 
in the form of an abundance of the feathering that flows from behind their knees and hocks, as well as the long, freely flowing mane and tail. Apart from looking very attractive, the Gypsy Vanner also possesses a very friendly temperament. Although the original intentions of breeding the Gypsy Vanner was to pull the wagons, the horses are now being used as general purpose horses. These days they are used as horses to pull carts and wagons, they're ridden in horse fashion shows, and they're also used for jumping and western pleasure horses. Number 8. The Fjord Horse The Fjord Horse, or Norwegian Fjord Horse, is a relatively small but very strong horse breed that finds its origins in the mountainous regions of western Norway. It's considered as one of the oldest purebred horses in the world. The agile breed of light drought horse is built more closely to the European wild horse known as the Tarpon. Historically, the original fjord horse migrated to Norway and was then domesticated over 4,000 years ago. It's believed that the horse was selectively bred for over 2,000 years, first by the Vikings around 1200 BC to serve as their war mounts in travels to Scotland, Iceland, and everywhere that they went to. The fjord would later influence the Highland Pony and the Icelandic horse. On average, fjords stand 13.2 to 14.2 hands high, weighing anywhere from 900 to 1,200 pounds. In addition to this, they also come in sizes that are suitable for both adults and children to ride. Speaking of their strength, you will not find them wanting. They have medium-sized heads with broad, flat foreheads and straight or slightly dished profiles. Their eyes are large, round, and expressive, and very well set. Number 7. Camarillo White Horse the Camarillo White Horse is a rare breed of horse that developed in the early 20th century from a single foundation sire named Sultan, also known as a stallion of a dream. Adolfo Camarillo spotted, admired, and purchased the nine-year-old Sultan for $500 at the California State Fair in Sacramento and then began a breeding program between the Sultan horse and the Morgan horse mares so that he could maintain the coat being white. A family tradition would later develop amongst the breed, and the line of horses was exclusively owned and bred by the Camarillo family. Camarillo White has a dominant white coat color and is characterized by a completely white coat, mane and tail, as can be seen in this video. The horses are known to have strong limbs, expressive faces, large eyes, and well-arched necks. Modern-day Camarillo White horses have been used as parade horses and have appeared in every Santa Barbara Fiesta Parade since the breed began in California in 1924. They also serve as the official horse of the city of Camarillo. Number 6. Knobstrupper Horse When you first feast your eyes upon the Knobstrupper Horse, you would think that you'd seen a leopard owing to the spots on its coat. The Knobstrupper is believed to originate from the prehistoric spotted horses that were native to modern-day Spain, However, the modern breed was established in Denmark in 1812 when a chestnut mare with leopard complex blanket markings would be crossed with a solid-colored Fredericksborg stallion to produce a colt with dramatic spotting. The mare was owned by Major Villers Loon, who kept her at Knobstrupgard, an estate. The offspring of the mare and her son then became known as Knobstruppers. The Knobstruppers exhibit coat patterns ranging from solid to full leopard spotting and everything in between. The breed also varies in size, and its conformation depends on the individual horse's bloodlines. The average height of the breed stands between 15.2 and 16 hands high. All of these horses are athletic and elegant, as well as having a docile disposition. They have great stamina and are easy to train, and they're used for general riding and carriage carrying. They're also successful in dressage, eventing, and show jumping. Number 5. Galachino The Galachino has its origins in Mexico. It was bred from horses that were brought by conquistadors to Spain when they invaded Mexico from Cuba during the 16th century. In Mexico, these horses are used for riding, packing, and light drafts, and in the United States, they're used as mounts for younger competitors and have also been found competing in Western events. Although small in their stature like a donkey, they're generally considered to be a horse and are mostly solid colored. They were first imported to the United States in 1958, and the following year a breed registry was formed. Despite their small stature, the horse is strong enough to carry a man all day long, even on rough terrain. These horses are known to be extremely gentle and easy to handle, 
thus making them excellent family horses. They're bright, alert, and they do learn quickly. The head of this horse shows good width between their large and lively eyes, pointed ears, and a small muzzle. They've slightly arched necks with clean throat latching, smoothly muscled bodies, and hard and well-shaped feet. The agility and speed of the breed makes it a good cutting horse, and this horse breed also excels in reigning classes, rodeo events, and western pleasure. Number 4. The Banker The Banker horse breed is a rare and feral horse breed that runs free on the Outer Bank Islands of North Carolina. Although there was a theory that sometime around the 16th century, Spanish horses had found their way to the area due to shipwrecks or abandonment, the horses are not indigenous to the area, but they were only seen by tourists running and roaming along the beach. Although they are shorter than the average horse, they're better referred to as horses rather than ponies. During the 20th century, the bankers were used for the transportation of people and supplies, pulling in fishing nets, plowing family gardens, and carrying midwives on their rounds. The banker horses are compact in size, usually 14 to 15.2 hands, and they weigh anywhere between 800 to 1,000 pounds. They have broad foreheads with a straight or slightly convex facial profile, short backs, and a very long stride, and strong croups with high to medium low tail sets, along with a long and silky mane and tail. Many of the banker breeds are gated, and several of their characteristics indicate their ancestry with other colonial Spanish horse breeds. Number 3. The Exmoor Pony The Exmoor Pony is the oldest and most pure of British native pony breeds. They've roamed the bleak and open moors of southwestern England, known as Exmoor, for centuries now, and they're believed to descend directly from the horses that walked onto Britain before it was an island. There are two features that are unique to the breed. They have hooded eyes, or what could be described as heavy upper brows, that protect their eyes from wind and rain, as well as snowshoot, which is a group of short, coarse hairs located at the top of their tail to channel rain and snow down away from their bodies. They have short and clean legs with well-developed joints and ample bones, and their height ranges from 11.3 to 12.3 hands for stallions and geldings, and 11.2 to 12.2 hands for mares. They weigh on average between 700 to 800 pounds. These horses do possess a great deal of balance, strength, and behaviors that are characteristic of ponies, and traditionally, Exmoors were used for herding and tending livestock. They have also shown to be capable of competing and winning in jumping, driving, dressage, and long-distance rides for both adults and children. Number 2. Eric's K Pony Eric's K Ponies are amongst the last surviving members of the original native ponies of the Western Isles of Scotland. They were found throughout the islands until the middle of the 19th century, and they've been used as crofters ponies, for pulling carts and for harrowing. The Arisque pony stands between 12 and 13.2 hands high, possessing a dense and waterproof coat, enabling them to live outside during the winter. Their predominant color is gray, though some have been found with black or bay colors. Their legs are fine with neat feet, and only a small tuft of hair can be found at the fetlock. Arisque ponies can be seen competing in activities such as dressage, show jumping, driving cross country, pony club eventing, trek, and western riding, amongst many others. Despite the small stature, they are a very strong horse and have terrific stamina. They make first-class driving ponies and have also been used in therapeutic horse riding. Their friendly character makes them ideal as family ponies, and today, the Arasque breed is rare as its population has been considered to be at critical status. Number 1. The Caspian Horse the Caspian horse is considered one of the oldest horse breeds in the world. Its origin dates back to Parisian art and artifacts from as early as 3000 BC, depicting small and refined horses that were ridden or driven by nobles and kings. It was only in 1965 that the breed would become more prominent. Caspians are known to be affectionate, curious, and loyal. They are true miniature horses despite the fact that they stand between 10.2 and 12.2 hands high. Their overall appearance reveals a well-bred and elegant horse, and they have a short head with large eyes and nostrils, short ears, a fine muzzle, and a wide vaulted forehead. Their long and graceful neck matches their fine yet abundant mane. Caspians have slim bodies, slender yet strong legs, and exceptionally hard oval-shaped hooves. The horse breed moves lightly and is always alert, 
They're typically bay, gray, black, dun, or chestnut, and in fact, all colors but pinto are allowed. Many believe that the breed was no longer in existence until its recent rediscovery. The survival of the Caspian horse is attributed to Iranian aristocrat Narsi Farouz and his American-born wife Louise Leyland Farouz. They had set upon an expedition to remote villages in a region that's above the Caspian Sea in search of short horses. Which of these horse breeds would you like to keep? Let us know all about it in the comments section down below.